Hi guys, this is Jerry. In this video, we're gonna quickly go through the MG Adaptive Cruise Control System or the MG Pilot System. So in this video, we're gonna use a vehicle in New Zealand. This is called as MG ZST Essence. Different vehicles or different pilot world, you may use different vehicles or different dashboard. So that looks a little bit different. But the basic behind this is going to be very, very similar. So in the vehicle, MG vehicles, we're going to find a switch behind the steering. So in theory, how to control the switch is to basically pull the lever against the steering. And then now you can see the MG pilot and the cruise control light that comes on. That means the cruise control is ready to engage. And once we start driving on the road, all we need to do is tap the set button and to start setting your cruise control. Now after set, you should have a set speed on the top, otherwise in the middle, otherwise somewhere at the bottom. Show your set speed. Basically that means if the vehicles, everything's clear, your vehicles drive on your set speed, either 50 or 100 kilometers, whatever you set. Then after that, we're gonna push up or down to change your set speed. And then your set speed will automatically change. Um, it will round up to five, it goes to 55, 60, 65, for example. And otherwise you go push up and hold that allows you to go one by one 51 52 and 53 for example or push down just the same example once you start driving you'll be able to use a switch twist it forward or backwards to change your distance between you and the frame vehicle in this instance we get the full digital dash we're gonna see the bars at the right bot right uh, right top you can see the bars three two and one that's our distance between us and the front vehicle so that's how to change the distance between your vehicle so roughly one distance is about let's say two seconds um, distance and three this three bar distance is about four seconds if distance so that's your safe distance between you and the front vehicle that's up to your speed basically and then if you do want to cancel the cruise control you can see this switch here just a light touch forward is to cancel or break is to cancel and pull it back is to resume back to your cruise control so that's how that works with your cruise control settings basically the basic theory settings we're gonna hit on the road so for you to see how it drives how it looks like on the road and once your cruise control is set you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to see the uh, letter the the, the yellow line uh, goes back to green instead and once you set the cruise control all you need to do if you want to use the mg pilot is pull the lever twice against the steering that means the mg pilot you can see the orange light again the mg pilot assist is on what that means is even if you don't have your steering assist or land departure warning land keep assist on your vehicle will basically steer for you um, either at low or high speed and what it works is it'll follow the traffic in front of you, it'll follow the line guidance in front of you to keep you steering for this for the thing. And if you do want to cancel it, again push all the way back, no light, that means everything's cancelled. Pull it back again, the MG pilot is on again. So whenever you push pull it back initially, it's always on standard adaptive cruise control. You do have to pull it twice against this thing, so you have the MG pilot on. Alright? So now let's quickly head on the road. Hopefully the traffic system is good. We'll be able to, to test drive and to, to see how it looks like. Again, if you're interested in one of the MG vehicles, if you happen to be in Auckland or Waikato or New Zealand, anywhere, uh, contact us at Abbey Pukui. We're also opening a new dealership in Botany or Flatbush area, whatever you want to call it. And um, if you want to purchase one from me, my name is Jerry. I'll leave my, all my contact details down below. That would be really helpful. And uh, also, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. That would be really helpful for me to grow the channel. Now we are finally back on motorway. So what I'm gonna do is put the put the vehicle on cruise control, pull it back to steering, press the press the push button on the side. It's at 97 at the moment, as you can see the green light. I'm gonna go up to 100, and as you can see, I'm, my distance for the front vehicle is about one distance. That means I'm. Um, the vehicle itself is keeping the about a minimum two seconds difference between me and the front vehicle. Um, so you can see the black car on the dashboard as well. That means the vehicle um, has our vehicle has seen the vehicle uh, as a target vehicle. So in case the vehicle speed is less than us, our set speed, which is 100, our vehicle would automatically slow down and keep us for a safe distance. 
we're going down here at the moment so a lot of cars are going faster than us so we're just going to be patient until hopefully the vehicle will be slower than us um, but yeah if you just want to use a cruise control like like this as normal it's going to be pretty simple you just set down cruise control and and the vehicle will drive on your set speed you don't need to do anything the vehicle will automatically change your distance between you and the front vehicle in case they are slower than your set speed and if you do want to put on mg pilot what i'm going to do is put the lever twice against me so twice there we go you can see the mg pilot engaged you can also see the land marking on the right hand side light up that means the mg pilot is engaged so the vehicle is lightly turning my steering to keep myself in the sort of the land marking whichever the vehicle sees um, I can definitely feel that turn um, I hope yep everything's at the back and in front of me are all clear so I'm gonna let go the steering for a couple seconds you can now see this vehicle steering turn that for me just like that I do not recommend you to try this at home by the way or on the road whatever um, so this is just how to test the MG pilot system and as you can see the vehicle is pulling me in the right center just how that MG pilot works again um, after a while it's gonna tell me off uh, it's gonna say you need to keep your hands on the steering something like that um, but yeah that's how that works with the MG pilot in case you do want to cancel it at any stage you just put a foot on the brake and to cancel the MG pilot and or light touch forward to cancel the MG pilot or pull it back again now we resume back to MG Pilot. So the vehicle is standard. I'm gonna keep us on MG Pilot basically from now on. And we have finally met some vehicle that's slower than our set speed. I'm gonna push the distance all the way to the three distance. What that means is I'm gonna have the maximum distance between me and the, the truck in front of me. So now you can see the vehicle is braking, it's trying to adjust the speed. I'm going to put it to 2 by the way, so you can now see the vehicle is trying to catch up against the truck in front of us. And that is so I'm going to put it to 1 again, there we go. You can now see the vehicle is getting a little bit closer to the truck now. So yeah, that's how the distance works with the 3 distance. You're able to change it whenever you like. When as standard, whenever you switch on the vehicle, it's always going to be automatically on uh, on number three. By the way, the highest. Uh, we're going to get off here. All right, I think that's us for this video. Unfortunately, I've been trying, trying, trying. It's already complete, super dark outside. I just couldn't catch the how the adaptive cruise control works in stop-start traffic. Um, I'm just in. I'm kind of leaving, and our dealership is in a sort of rural area. Uh, with all the traffic going around super fast and all that things, no one's stopping, there's no traffic lights to come to test the stop start um, for how the adaptive cruise control works. But I'll promise you I will do another video on this when I have a chance and uh, to drive around city area in stop start traffic because that's pretty cool with the assistant packages as well. The vehicle does have that um, traffic assist at low um, low low speed and stop start traffic. Um, so yeah, keep uh, keep subscribing to the channel if you can. I will do the more videos about MG features or any other car features in, in the future. And I hope this video is really helpful and uh, we will see you next one.